Hello everybody, I'm Jim of High End of this video I'm going to be talking to you about this, the Holographic Tense Doctor. Now, before I begin, I'd like to ask you, if any of you have enjoyed my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's begin, okay? So yes, I'm talking to you about this figurine here, okay? It is the Tense Doctor, David Tennant, as a hologram. It is quite rare, one of 5,000 only made, okay? It's a must-have for any collector. I got this one here, right, for £10. It might seem steep, right? Oh, and it also came just like a little packet, right? In a parcel. Yeah, I got this for £10, right? And yes, it might seem steep, right? However, sorry, I'm reading this off my phone, right? It, uh, it might seem steep, but it's quite rare, and it will be a much sought-after figurine in the future. And two, your average figurine online, right? They cost me about 10 quid. So I'll show you all the ones I have so far. Right, hang on. So I've got this, the black Dalek, this, but uh, this Sarah Jane, uh, the Master, another, uh, another villain, and uh, another version of the Master, right? Anyway, I got these from someone else selling them cheaper, right? But if you look on eBay or Amazon, they are about 10, 10 quid each, unless you're lucky enough to find some cheaper than that. Now, the detail on, on the holographic figurine is amazing, right? I'll show you this now. If we take my, one of my original figurines I got, right? The, this is one of the very first ones I got, right? The shoes, excellent detail on them. Another camera's gone a bit blurry there, right? Uh, you, can, you can notice he's wearing sneakers, right? White sneakers with the laces and that, right? And you can really see the laces. On this one, it's obvious that he's wearing the same shoes. You can see the laces and yes. It's always good when a company really focuses on the actual figurine, like how it looks, right? If they're just making it look generically and like sort of like the Doctor that they're aiming for, then uh, it doesn't work because it just makes your figurine look all cheap and rubbish, right? Then we move on to what what else they're wearing, right? So notice that he's wearing David Tennant, like the actual figurine of him, is wearing matching. Uh, Matching shirt with trousers, right? So a, a suit, black and white with white stripes, right? And if we look at the hologram, because it's just a hologram, uh, he's he's still wearing stripey uh, suit, right? However, obviously it's not going to be shown just because it's a hologram. I've said that way too many times now, right? Now I'm not sure if this is my fault or the figurine or whatever, right? See the suit here. Where it's uh, got some blue patches on it, right? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be it or if it's just like scratches, but on this one, look, it's not. The tie is silver, so I'm not sure if that's like a mistake or uh, or if one of them's wrong or they're both right. Maybe the hologram just changed the color of the tie. Okay. Anyway, what's Sarah Jane doing in that TARDIS then? Um, now we take notice to the face, right? That could have sounded like an insult. The face on this one, right, it looks really like David Tennant. Okay? The hair, the, <coughs> excuse me, the hair, the nose, the eyes, right, it really doesn't look like David Tennant. The, the um, hologram, it, yeah, it looks like David Tennant, right? You can tell by the hair. Uh, it's exactly the same hairstyle as the original, right? And, uh, yeah, it, it, they do look similar. It's it's just harder to tell, really, because there's glitter, which really emphasises the point that it is a hologram, and the fact that they can't really add much detail because it's a hologram, right? I'm going to show you the scenes that the hologram actually features in. I hope you enjoy. I'm burning up a sun just to say goodbye. You look like a ghost. Hold on.
This is security protocol 712. This time capsule has detected the presence of an authorized control disk. Valid one journey. Please insert the disk and prepare for departure. Yeah, as you can see, it only appears in about 10 seconds of the entire Doctor Who franchise. It was made for the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, right? And I don't know why they made it, because it, it only appears in two episodes of Doctor Who, Blink and Doomsday, which have nothing to do with the 50th anniversary. We get the close-up on John Hurt's Doctor, we can't forget that. It's the same size as the other figures I have, which is amazing, because there's nothing worse than playing with figures with one being half the size of the other. I have to show you a scene, right, on why I think that they should have made the ninth Doctor as a hologram and not the 10th Doctor, okay? This is uh, from the Ninth Doctor's final episode. This is Emergency Program 1. Rose, now listen, this is important. If this message is activated, then it can only mean one thing. We must be in danger, and I mean fatal. I'm dead or about to die any second with no chance of escape. No. And that's okay. Hope it's a good death. But I promise to look after you, and that's what I'm doing. The TARDIS is taking you home. I won't let you. And I bet you're fussing and moaning now. Typical. But hold on and just listen a bit more. The TARDIS can never return for me. Emergency program one means I'm facing an enemy that should never get their hands on this machine. So this is what you should do. Let the TARDIS die. Just let this old box gather dust. No one can open it, no one will even notice it. Let it become a strange little thing standing on a street corner. And over the years, the world will move on and the box will be buried. And if you want to remember me, then you can do one thing. That's all, one thing. Have a good life. Do that for me, Rose. Have a fantastic life. I mean, it could be improved, right, if uh, the holographic figure came with a trench coat which you could remove if whenever you wanted to. So anyway, what's my opinion then? Should you buy this? Should you buy the special figurine or stick to your normal figurines? Well, if you're a fan of it, like you're a massive fan of Doctor Who, yeah, sure, go for it. Limited edition, it'll look great on your collection. But if you're not really a fan of Doctor Who, or, or you just like David Tennant, then I wouldn't recommend it, okay? That was my review of the Holographic Tent Doctor figurine. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day and don't forget to drink hot chocolate.